Hi guys, welcome back to Red Dog Game, where today we are continuing our Empire Total War 2 campaign in Empire Total War. Now, full disclosure, I've tried to record this episode twice, but it seems the crashes have returned a little bit. So we're going to try again, and if it crashes, I'm going to try and load the autosave as quick as possible. I might even quick save between turns, between battles, all that stuff, just... To try and make sure that if it does crashes, we can load back up from where we set off. So, without further ado, let's end the turn and let's see what happens. If the end turn works, please. <laughs> that, now, that would be ironic. Crashing straight away, but no. Luckily, it didn't. But yeah, I am really enjoying this game. It's just, the crashes are hard to deal with right now. Goa! Goa is being attacked. No, don't take Goa. I hope you're enjoying, guys. Uh, please do remember, I've got some Napoleon Total War um, online battles on the channel at the minute. So if you do like this content, you would probably like that as well. Um, so do give that a watch. Some really decent, good, fun battles on there. Uh, I'd recommend the 3v3 on Linyi. That was a very fun battle. Very good. Uh, maybe the dog fight at Salamanca. The tactical fight at Salamanca, I think it's called. That was another really good one. Right then, Maratha. We will... Quick save. <laughs> and we will do this battle and just take the most scabbiest defensive position possible. Um, I try... Try to kill these guys. Uh, quick save's taken a while. But let's, uh, let's do that. It's still loading. The timepiece is still there. So that kind of concerns me. But oh well. We should push on through. Destroy these fools. The Maratha. We are allied to the Mughals of course. But please remember the Mughals will not be our allies forever. We will try and take the rest of India for ourselves. Because it makes a lot of money. <laughs> it makes an obscene amount of money if you take India. Silly, silly amounts of money. So, of course, we must take it for ourselves because we are greedy assholes, basically. Right. So, I'll just let you know, the other time I played this battle, we played it up here. And it's actually a up here. A very, 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 very decent position. But when we played it, did notice that <laughs> there is a little bit of a position up here. Not here. Up here. That genuinely looks like you can't get to it on this map. Like, unless that's... You can get to it there. I don't believe you can. So we could just fully, fully scab this battle and go up here. But I don't really want to. It's too scabby even for me. And you know, I'm all about exploiting the AI. You know that, guys. But even that is a bit too much for me. I'm not going to lie. Going up here is, you know, that's about as exploitative as I'm willing to go. <laughs> and I think... Right, make sure we get these guys. These are 12-pounders. So these guys are beasts. These guys should do some serious, serious damage. We did, so last time we had them like in this dip. But I'm kind of tempted to bring them up here. Although they can't fire down there then. Uh, I don't know. I think we go with the dip still. Get them a bit up. Mm. Are they in a good firing position there though? Not really. About a bit for, further to the right. Oof. No, now that is a good position. And we can get these boys, ideally up here. Like there would be perfect. Look at that, that's a good position for these boys to be in. And you guys can go here, but your main position is just to really just stop the enemy getting to the cannons. Maybe even up here would be good. I mean, if we could put the cannons, like, here, that would be even worse. But, no, 
That is too exploitative even for me, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> even for a humble red dog. But let's look at what new units they bring to the party that we haven't seen before. Because there are some. Fast forward it meanwhile though. Um, well, I think we've seen the fog. The polygar. Look at their fancy hats. Very nice. So they've got the standard infantry. The infantry Marathov. They have the luxury infantry. Look at these fancy boys. Look at them. They're wearing like... Is that metal plate? And lovely beards as well. Fantastic. Um, the Bargear Lancers. I believe we've seen them before. But look at them. Phalanxes on horseback. Genuinely. These are the Siladar Lancers as well. Very nice. Very nice looking units. Then back here... We have the Sikh Akali's infantry. Awesome turbans. Nice cross uh, crossbar there. What do you call that? Sash, I guess? But no tops. They're not wearing tops. They don't need tops. Some Bargain infantry. Very nice. And these Arab mercenaries. Don't believe we've seen them before. But they are also looking awesome. Interesting they are fighting for the Maratha. Seeing as I am assuming they would be Muslim and the Maratha are predominantly a Hindu nation. Um, so yeah, cool. They look awesome. Infantry Marathov, but they are mercenaries, so that is why they're fighting for them. Luxury infantry some more, and they do have their own 12-pounder. And of course, the glorious elephant riding general's bodyguard. Very, very cool indeed. Right, let's speed this baby up. There's their cavalry. So we really just need to get rid of their cavalry. Um, <coughs> so that they can't charge the cannons. And then we'll be able to do some serious damage to them. With the canister shot. They are sitting just out of range at the minute. It's a decent proposition. See firing down here. There is a good chance they will hit these guys. Because... Their range is not actually just inside this. They, you know, as you can see, there was a there was one that hit like they're hitting over there, so they can hit this far. It's just that it's an arbitrary sort of range requirement for them to actually aim at someone. I guess they just can't really aim properly. Maybe it doesn't actually hurt them if they shoot that that far in. Um, because one just did look like it hit in the middle of here, and it didn't do any damage. Oh well. As soon as someone's in the range, we will get to firing. They're waiting. I don't know why the AI does this. Just send out its armies in front. I know you should be confident. You have a lot more troops than me, but don't need to be that confident, bro. And also, why is it raining so much? That's bad for the powder. Very bad for the powder, in fact. Terrible for the powder. I'm so glad that there is no <laughs> amount of um, shot requirements in Napoleon and Empire. It allows you to fire forever. Now they should be moving. Come on, guys. They're being sensible and waiting for a bit of infantry support. Oh, God. I, I don't know what I did there. Uh, genuinely don't know what I did. Doesn't look like there's a range anymore. Oh, because on that, I didn't mean to press that. As soon as these guys pass into range, oh, come on! See, it didn't, it didn't hurt them outside the range. So, I mean, it would in real life, but I guess it's just a bit of an arbitrary thing. We'll go for the middle, middle unit. Look where they have to go. That is the mountain they are climbing. Even though the city seems to be over there, we're defending it from the nearby mountains for some reason. I'm surprised that it just gives you this, like, company infantry and the local militia. Like, I'm not going to lie. These guys don't particularly look like they might be locals. <laughs> like, <laughs> what's going on there? Like why do we not get like Hindu infantry or something as the as the local militia sort of garrison? That that would be better, I think. Come on, guys, got to get some shots in here. 
You're missing. You're so poor, bro. So bad. These cavalry. I don't think we'll have a good shot on these guys, though. What are they doing? Oh, I'm sorry this will be a bit of a boring one, but we need to tackle them. Get their, get their battles, get their numbers down. Yeah, at least we got... Oh, we, that was a decent shot, actually. Well done, 68 now. Yeah, now they come. Up the hill you go, boys. Imagine this. Imagine being one of these soldiers and you're like, oh, we've got to get rid of the garrison of the city. Where are they? On top of this huge mountain. Oh, great. Cheers, Commander. Cheers, cheers, Netherlands, uh, United Provinces. Thank you for that. <laughs> they are shooting into this mound a bit. And that's going to be a bit of a problem when they come up for grape shot. Because there's this little dip here that... Not invisible to the cannons, to be fair. But the, so a lot of the grape shot might hit this dip. These guys on the left should do a good job. But over here, you can see there's another dip. Blocking the left off. And the right is a bit more impassable than the left, as you can see. So it's probably better to be over this right side firing left rather than the other way around. Fire down there, please. You are firing a long way. Oh, we did get a shot there. Oh, I still need to kill one, though. Yeah, not doing much damage with the round shot. We just need to wait till they get cannons to shot range. Right, fire at the Bargo infantry then until, until they get a bit closer. Or even the general's bodyguard. That might be a good option. Uh, no. See, the AI knows that I've targeted them and they're running away now. Kill the Arab mercenaries, I'd say. They are clumped up better than everyone else. How close are these boys, though, now? Still got a lot of mountain to climb, not going to lie. Come on, guys. Look, we might even win this by getting rid of the timer if they if they hang around for so long. Oh! You see that? That was a really good shot. And that was trying to fire at these guys down here. It wasn't even trying to fire at them. How big is the range? Oh, hello. Hello. Come on, boys. This is it now. This is it. This is time to get going. They should be firing now. Yes, good shot. Oh, glory. Let's go. Let's go. Shoot them as much as you can, my friends. Ah, uh, the rain might be stopping some of the shots, which is kind of annoying, but... Well, that all missed. See how bad those shots were. They are missing completely. It's just the cannons. Right, they're probably going to come back unless they're shattered. No, they're broken. Let's go for these boys. Need to get rid of all this cavalry. It's too dangerous out here. Look at them just stood here, though. I don't get it. Why are you just stood here, bro? Yeah, doing some damage. Nice. Not doing a huge amount, but we don't need to worry about using ammunition because, of course... Unlimited ammo on Empire. <laughs> Which is just crazy, really. But, I mean, it's kind of realistic. You would have supply depots and everything allowing you to restock your cannons. But in the midst of a battle, very hard to do. Very hard to do. Shoot at these guys, actually, would be good. Uh, or these guys. Zumra. The, the Zumra cavalry. I didn't even, we didn't even look at them, did we? Fancy in their green. Two units of them or just one? Mm, just one, I think. Yeah, we're taking them down very nicely. Look at the field of dead cavalry here. Look at the AI being stupid as normal. Fastless car cavalry marathon. We didn't look at them either. Very nice, though. Very nice unit. Well, one of the uh, cavalry's actually fully run away. It's not come back, which is great for us. Very good for us, in fact. Now the infantry's starting to arrive. They should actually begin their huge assault soon. Don't need to shoot that anymore. Shoot these guys. 
Nice, guys. Come on. Look at this. The amount of cavalry we've brought down. Absolutely excellent. Fire on that guy, actually. Should have a bit more of a spread effect. Okay, that didn't really do much, but oh well. Nice, guys. Let's keep it going. These guys must be exhausted. No! Excellent order. Have they... Oh, they have just been walking. I was going to say, have they been running or not? Shoot the baggy lances, please. Is that all their cavalry dealt with now, then? I don't know. It's close to being all of their cavalry dealt with. But, of course, we need to deal with these luxury infantry as well very soon. Kind of behind that blob, though, which is not great for us. Look at this rain, bro. Look at this rain. Come on. Okay, they are starting to fire now. I say shoot there. See whether that does any good. Okay, yeah, doing decent, actually. Shoot those boys. Let's go. Come on, guys. These guys are in a very nice position. I'm not worried about them using all their ammo because... They are probably going to bum rush us and defeat us by the time we've used all our ammo. I'm not going to lie. Before we've used all our ammo, should I say. Shoot that battle gear infantry, please. The closer they get, the more brutal the shots, the canister shot becomes. So, it's a good one for us. Oof, that scythe through them there, didn't it? Oh my god, 21 out of 71. These poor guys. Poor guys. They have been brutalized. That, that, that didn't hit anyone, did it? That was a poor shot. What a wonderful cannon sound, though. I'm just trying to get as many routing as possible, and then when they route, others might route as well. Shoot the Arab mercenaries, please. I just hope they don't shoot any of my cannon people too much. Okay, that cavalry's... Oh my god, look at the horde. The horde comes. The horde is real. Shoot, guys. Come on. Have a bit of urgency. Oh god. Look at those twigs, bro. Oh, that was a good shot. Imagine having to wear one of these wigs into battle. Like, how uncomfortable and... Disgusting and sweaty and horrible it would be. It would genuinely be terrible. Okay, this cavalry has decided to come back. One a couple of shots though, and they will just die. Oh my god, the horde is real. Yeah, we're not gonna beat the horde. We only have 20 minutes left to complete this battle though, but if they just bum rush us now, there's nothing we can do. Come on, guys! Speed up! Speed up. Please. Please? <laughs> yes. Shoot. 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 Oh. Good shots, boys. How did you miss? You seem to miss. How many? Still got five out of five. Uh... We haven't made any of these guys route yet, though. That's one thing. They're inspired by a nearby unit. I wonder which one that is. The luxury infantry, maybe? Inspired by nearby unit. Which one of them isn't inspired by a nearby unit? That'll be the nearby unit that's inspiring. Come on, guys. We're all depending on you. Otherwise, we all die. i tell you now. Uh, fire. Fire. No, no. Don't get into the melee. Get out. <coughs> Who is this nearby unit that is inspiring? Maybe this Bargay Lancers, honestly? 
Uh, take it up, back up. Um, excuse me, guys. You want to go kill them for us? That'd be nice. Can I shot, please? Quick. Uh, can you do that, please? And Come on, guys. Come on. Come oh, guys. Get out. Oh, they've routed. You fools. You should have waited around. Would have been fine. How are you guys doing? Concerned? Yep. Yeah, you're going to rout, aren't you? Oh, well. Well. Much ado about nothing, really, eh? A <laughs> long battle. But we did manage to damage them quite a lot, including killing a lot of their cavalry, which is, you know, some of the worst people. 300... They lost 800! Wow. 536 from that 12-pounder. Well done, guys. I think that's worth it. I genuinely think that's quite worth it. I think that's a decent decent shout to do that battle. Because they definitely wouldn't have lost 800 if we just auto-resolved. Well, how come they've completely... They don't look like they've got any damage anymore. What's the deal with that? Is that because they liberated a settlement or something? I, d I don't know. Yeah. Fortunately, it got destroyed. Works on striking Mysore. Very unfortunate. So let's uh, rebuild all of this. And then I think these guys are the priority in terms of replenishment, honestly. Galleon of War in the Caribbean Sea. I think we need more. We can't recruit any more. We don't have any money left. We definitely need more ships, though, than, than that to beat that Spanish Navy. Definitely. All right, Spain. How are we looking? We need a general. They're all replenishing apart from you. 730 to replenish those guys. Oh, yeah, we need to build a church school here as well. Oh, well, let's end the turn though again. See what happens. It'd be nice to get an alliance with Portugal. I don't really fancy declaring war on them. Just going to X these now. There's no point trying to trade technology. They don't like doing it. The only one who's managed to, to like doing it so far has been Westphalia. So maybe we'll try them again next turn. But no one else likes doing it. I guess the AI doesn't know the value of some of the technologies. Like canister shot. Obviously the military technologies for the AI isn't really that big a deal. Because they do all their battles via auto resolve. Um, so like canister shot probably doesn't matter to them. You know, plug bayonet doesn't. Like, that's that sort of thing. I don't know whether auto is all... Oh, it must take that into account, surely. But for the AI, it's obviously just not a priority. I would like an alliance with you, Ottomans, but the Islamic Emirate is stopping us doing that. And I can't get peace with those boys. And I don't know why I can't. For some reason, you will not let me. You will not let me, game. Please. Uh, okay, you can have your trading port back. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Mules, how about you? Carbines for canister shot seems like. What about flying shuttle for canister shot? No! <coughs> Surely. See, a human player would take that any day of the week. <laughs> like, genuinely, any day of the week. Like, absolutely would take that, no problem. Enemy raid, Barcelor. Yep. Oh, well. I wonder when you become a thing, because I need a trading port out here. Villages are not growing. What? They have no tax, though, bro. How are they not growing? That needs to be repaired, but I think there's more important things right now, like repairing the army. We can actually recruit some more, so we definitely, we must have some more force limit. 
I think we go with cavalry because they have a lot of cavalry. You got the elephants though. Three pounders are just trash. And they're reasonably happy in Mysore now, which is good. Let's make sure we get that one upgraded in Spain. Make sure we replenish him as well. Replenish. Now let's get a general. Nicholas Ganesvort. He has nothing. Oh, conspiracy. Fuck the conspiracy, bro. Election results. Oh my god. Why is the Grand Pensionary awful? Also the Secretary of the Treasury. Is, okay, he, he is zero. He has zero stars. We're doing very well in culture, but it doesn't... Side of the government. Side of the government. Oh, okay. Sounds like a crash. Ah, so we're, we are back. Um... Hmm. It looks like we're at the previous end turn. Previous end turn, I guess. Right, well, we'll have to end the turn again and hope that it doesn't crash this time. <laughs> ah, annoying, these crashes. Very annoying. Go away, Great Britain. France, are you going to do the same thing? Offer us nothing for nothing? Like, yes, you are. Fools. I don't get it. Fools! Fools, I tell you. But it's interesting. So, like, one thing I've never tested before that would be interesting is, like, if a European nation loses all its uh, places in Europe, all its colonies become independent, become their own sort of nation. But say, like, Maratha, if they had a you know American colony or something would they lose would that become independent if all their nations all their provinces in India were lost <coughs> I've never tested that out or like they had a European settlement and they lost everything in India I don't know yeah that's gonna do that oh well Oh, I think it's this side with the government, side with the rebels situation, because it's not obviously not showing the real thing. So I think that's causing the crashes, but I don't know how to fix it. I've reinstalled everything, you know, a lot of times to try and get it to work to start with. I don't fancy doing it too many more times. Um, but yeah, I guess we'll see. See whether this works. Okay, it does. Okay, different election results actually from last time. President's very good this time. Treasury guy's still awful. He's got zero stars. You need to kick you. Yes, you got in the treasury. Very nice. That's better. Army guy's rubbish, but oh well. Religion and culture. Ah. Glorious, there was no options, no asks. New national leader. Inflation and expansion, oh well. Can recruit, let's recruit the Dragoons here again. And then in Spain, I want to make sure that everyone's retraining. Okay, there's not an army there. That's interesting. Everyone's done apart from him, so let's get a, get a guy and let's go. Let's see whether we can leave Spain. We can. Let's go for Gibraltar then. Ah, oh, we need to build the, uh, let's build the church school over here. Time to go for Gibraltar, boys. Fantastic. Um, you guys, make sure the rest of you are retraining. Fantastic, they are. Just about enough money. Right, well, let's end the turn again. I'm just going to quick save. It worked. Just before we end the turn. This navy is not strong enough to take out that navy, unfortunately. We'll have to get some more ships. Or maybe even send them from Europe. Hmm. I'm not sure. I am not sure, indeedy. 
France, France, France. Don't give us stupid diplomatic shit again, please. You stupid fools. Fools! Ha <laughs> ha, Spain. Oh, yes. I mean, the other thing is, if we take out Spain, all these places become independent, so... Hmm. Will they be at war with us? I'd still quite like them to be, because I would like to destroy them and take all this land for ourselves. Uh, but they might not be. That is the one thing. They might not be. And of course, now the Ottoman turns take obscenely long. It always seems to be the Ottomans that it doesn't like. They take ages. Yep. Still going. <laughs> Still going. It ticks a frame every few seconds. Oh, look at that. Another frame. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I hope you are enjoying this series, guys. I'm enjoying it, apart from the crashes, of course. <laughs> Which are quite annoying, but what do you expect with Empire Total War, a very buggy game to start with, with a mod on top of it, with a notoriously kind of buggy mod, mod on top of it, VDM. Although it is a fantastic mod, there are a lot of conflicts. Yes, so we are past the Ottomans. Now everything can kind of calm down a bit. Yeah, look at that. A few frames a second now. Oh, just kill the rice. Farmers, why don't you, you horrible bastards? This is your land. Well, it's not. It was my sword's land. But it's not my land. Stop destroying my... It looks like... Look at that. Look at that rice bowl thing. It looks like a satellite dish. I'm not going to lie. Why is there a satellite dish? It's 1706, guys. Mad. Aliens confirmed or not? I don't know. Maybe. Right, let's see what crash material you're going to give us this turn. Yep. Okay, corruption. Cyber government. I'm going to just press these as quick as I can. Oh, it's just one. It was just one. It's when it's more than one that it seems to really struggle with. Oh my god, all these traits, bro. Jughead. Jughead. What does that even mean? I can't be bothered looking. Protestantism, that's good. Iron, ooh, very nice. Timber. Friends in low places, very nice. Ceylon got the next level of artillery thing. So what can it get now? Bordered Ordnance, nine pounder. Oh, they are recruiting. Ah, do we want that though? I actually don't think we do. Like, it's fixed. So that's a real problem. I'm just wondering when these guys are re recruited. There's three more. We need two more slots. So we'll go for two more Irish brigades. Full of Irish. We have an army of Irish people. Fantastic. Right then. Let's go see Spain. What's going on in Spain? Ah, they brought this guy here. Hello, Britain. Right, what we're going to do, let me just check that they, uh, we need to get, we need to get militia in here as well to stop our trade being destroyed. Hmm. I think our navy can beat that navy. Well, we need to bring our navy here to stop these guys reinforcing, because I believe they will reinforce if we attack this. Yep, yeah, they will, see. Not with their artillery, but with a pretty large army. So let's continue the siege. I don't think they're going to attack us. I hope not, anyway. Um, and then in Amsterdam, let's build that next cannon manufactory. Oh, we can't. Oh, what are we researching as well, by the way? So, yeah. Plug Bayonet, one more turn. Very nice. Salamanca, go for that. That's probably a decent idea. No industrial... We are getting social contract. We could do with upgrading this. Westphalia. Let's try and get some things with Westphalia. Where are you, Westphalia? Westphalia. 
Very friendly. Can't be allies. Just have a spinning, Jerry. We don't have anything to offer you. Oh, God. Austria, do you want trade? No. We are still allied with the Mughals and Britain, which is great. Prussia and Poland. I, I don't get it. Why would you want to not want to be my ally? Let's end the turn again. We've got some money left over, so we should be able to upgrade the, uh, the college next time, which is great. <coughs> France. Just offering us nothing. I don't, I don't get it. We could go and take Brandenburg. We would be very spread out, though, at this point. Berlin, I mean, sorry. Peace, Poland, peace. Nope. Ha <laughs> Technology Ottomans? Plug bayonet for improved grenades? Sounds pretty decent. Nope. Nope. No one likes the technology sharing. No one likes this to share their technology. They want to hoard it all themselves, of course. Fools! But if we gave the Ottomans plug bayonet, like, they're never going to be a threat to us, really. We're never going to be at war with them, most likely. Not any anytime soon. Um, oh, Jesus, I forgot Spain has loads of territory everywhere. Technology Russia? Or, like, no, we're getting that. Common land enclosures, bro? Nope. Um, so giving them plug bayonet would not... How about technology with you, my friend? No. <laughs> Apparently you've, everyone's overtaken us with military technology. I don't understand how, but okay. Thank you for that, guys. Somehow you all have better technology than me. But now we have three colleges uh, doing technology. That should be pretty decent. We might... If I send one of the rubbish gentlemen from the Netherlands, rather than the good one, to try and steal some research from France, that would be quite a good idea, I think. Uh, yes, game. Let's see. Netherlands. What is he? Oh, we have this gentleman. Do we have a gentleman in there? He's better. We'll send you to go to France. Wait, don't duel. I need to go to France. Uh, how are we doing in terms of... Protestantism here very well. How about in Flanders? Wait, is Catholicism going up? It still is, even with him in the, the region. Let's quick save because we're going to be pressing on these in a second. Opera House Ceylon. New task. Okay. Navy of at least 40 ships. I don't know whether you've made that possible, game. I'm not going to lie. I don't get the success of the saboteur. Military writer, research points. That's very good. My saw, we now have a decent army. Okay, the richest country, apparently, we are. Fantastic. Right, let's upgrade this. I believe we've researched that now as well. So let's go for military syllabus. 29 turns. That's an obscenely long amount of time. Explosive shells would be fantastic. 32 pounder heavy horse howitzer artillery that is almost a horse guard artillery wow 12,000 1200 range 40 firepower 48 firepower accuracy 65 the mortars are a lot better if you have explosive shells like really a lot better Slow. That is their problem. They are slow. <laughs> what do you expect from a 32 pounder though? I'm not going to lie. Right. This should stop them being able to move across, I believe. No, they still can. Why can they still move across? My ships are in the way. Well, oh well. It's only two turns until they just surrender, so... Surrender refused. Well, we'll just wait then. If they want to attack us, we'll take a very nice defensive position. Of course. As usual. Now, if we leave here... Oh, they're very unhappy. We need one of these. I don't think we need two weavers. We need one of these to become a magistrate. So let's do that. 
Gold mines and everything here. Would be a nice opportunity to take out that army, though. Right, let's do that. They might strike for a turn, but we'll make it back for the next turn. Yes. Let's go, boys. Quick save again, please. Okay. Guess not. Fantastic. Battle time once again, my friends. Once again. I would have liked to get a battle against the Spanish in this turn, but this uh, episode, but oh well. We need to have a look at how many settlements they have as well, because they have a lot. They have a, like, um, I believe they've got Corsica and Sardinia. Do they have Sicily and Sicily as well? They have Milan. They are married into every throne, bro. <laughs> every throne. <laughs> every throne. Right then. Looks like a pretty decent map. Is that where they're... Why are we so far apart? Bring you guys up here. Send you boys... Oh, that's a lot. Send you boys to the left. You boys to the right. Standard. I don't really like the elephants. I'm not going to lie. How about we... Oh, we go elephants down the, down the middle. Cavalry left side. Cavalry right side. It's nice that it's nicely uh, nicely organized for once. Because normally it's a mess on Empire. Where are they? Jesus, have they done my technique? Oh my god. <laughs> they have. For God's sake, guys. That is a large... Large distance to cover. We can come around this left-hand side, though, and not take fire from his artillery. And this guy, these guys can come around the far right. Oh, they have done exactly my technique. Where are their cannons, though? Cannons are in the front. Like, what are they doing? You guys... Send you, like... Over this way. You guys send you. We could just try and do it with the elephants. I don't really care for them. They're not that good. For what they are, they seem like they should be amazing, but they're actually not. Right, let's speed this up. Let's watch some of these boys moving. Come on, boys. March away. Uh, you guys get your speed on, please. Yeah, there they are. Going a bit quicker. The Ellie's are slow as well. Come on, the Irish. So many Irish regiments. Where's the one that's got their own name? I was going to rename some of them. I keep forgetting to do that. These are the Hindus. 7th Battalion. 11th. 23rd. Yeah, none of them have their own name yet. We need to get some good names in there. Where is that artillery, bro? Still just stands there. Um, okay. Uh, looks like we can just do this then. <laughs> I don't get these little flags next to their names. Like, what's their flag for? That, that's got the Irish flag, so... Uh, like, the Irish harp. So, I'm assuming it's denoting that they're Irish, but... Is that it? What are you? Why? Well, you look like a juicy target. I'm not going to lie. Oh, Jesus. Where did you come from? I didn't even see them. We only lost one guy in that, though. They must have been hiding. Nice, nice AI. Well done. Um, quick, quick. Ah, God, I'm on six times. You guys, quick, quick. Uh, general. We should win this. Just because our, the Lancers are terrible in uh, open combat. Oh, general, come on. Oh, God, how do you route so much, so quick? We will take, we will take revenge, though. Oh, my God, they're both running. Fools. Let's go. You guys. 
get to shoot them. They're going to do well in the charge, though. That's the problem. Oh, my God. Look how messy they are. Come on, guys. Charge this way, at least. Uh, well, we'll, we'll uh, unlimber one, see whether he can reach. Oof. No, not really. Limber back up, my friends. Cannons are not going to play a part of this battle, I would say. Kill them. These cannons aren't even unlimbered, bro. Uh, right, do you know what? I'm going to get this. I'm going to get the general to charge into the cannons. Just to try and get him some good traits like bravery or something. These guys should be shattered. They are. Fantastic. Uh, you guys get you up here as well. Let's go. Get moving quick, my friends. Oh, what an absolutely huge march. Huge march. Probably send this wave up first. I've got a bit more experience. Go on, General. Let's go. What do they have up here that could combat it? Just the... Just the elephants. Probably going to get shot at. Yep, we are. But we won't get canister shot in our face if we do this. So it's probably better. Oh, they all died. They all just instantly died. Get out. Where is this army? Come on, boys. Oh, my God. This takes so long. These, Oh, fuck me. Jesus Christ. Guys, get in. They shattered yet? No, they're just broken. That's really annoying because they're going to come back and do that same thing again. Fuck me, bro. Alright, speed this up. Um, Ellie's... Let's get you like here, probably. Let's go. If we shoot them, they might. No, oh, there, there you are. I was gonna say, where's the fifth one? They might start coming down the hill. Should be better for us, but it ain't good. Oh, they are coming down the hill. Very nice of them. Right, boys, we'll actually get you in a good position, I would say. Would be a good idea, wouldn't it? Oh, wait. That's too few. That's a big fat line, isn't it? Let's go. Ellie's, you can stand behind here. What are you guys doing? Nothing, really. Uh, wait a sec. You guys get in position, please. Shoot away, my friends. Shoot away. Nice. Are you in a good position? Yeah, very good position to fire. Come on, boys. Let's go. Let's get up close and personal with them. I don't get what this unit's doing over here. Let's go after it. God, the elephants are so slow, bro. Like, silly slow. Come on, guys. Get in position. Sides of the hill. Look at these boys. Resplendent. Let's go, boys. Yeah, that was good shooting. Point blank range. Oh, just taking them down halfway with that those two couple of volleys. Oh, the, the general's going. He's out of here on his elephant. Oh, my God. Our order must be awful. Yeah, terrible, I was going to say. 
They don't like to charge properly, do they? I guess you've got to get them close and then charge. Spargo infantry is decent infantry, to be fair. Just got the standard... Whoa, these Hindus are taking some huge losses. Absolutely ginormous losses. Poor guys. Shoot that Bargo infantry. Oh my god. Running. You fools. Let's go. Let's speed it up now. Right. Get you guys into, say, them. Get a general. We'll continue to just run them down. You guys are over here. You guys limber up. You guys can continue firing. You know what? You guys come after, say, these boys. You should be faster than the elephants. Let's see whether we can get rid of those, um, that general. Get running, my friends. How many have you killed? Well, another long battle. But of course, all empire battles are like this. Long as hell. Let's <laughs> go, General. Should be doing well. Kill the elephants. I don't know whether they can still kill us. I don't think they can, you know. Yes, we killed him. So we can destroy this army then. Which is good. Where are you guys? See, they have like a little house above them. I guess that's veterans, maybe? Means they're veterans, but don't see how it means that. Get after them. How did you lose some troops then? You're losing troops doing this. How? You're not firing or anything. Guys, come on. He's there. He's there. Oh my god. You imbeciles. You imbeciles. I think they're on the edge of the map now, aren't they? Oh well. Well done, guys. Fantastic. Another great battle out of the way. Close. Vi close? It was not close, my friend. Sorry, game, but it wasn't. <laughs> Victory! I guess it was close. We lost 300 as well. That was mainly cavalry, though. Three pounders doing some damage. Dragoon's doing well, but... Oh, God, the rest of them doing trash. Like, literal trash. We need to come back anyway. And make sure these guys are happy. Confident general and a brave soldier. Yes, so we did get him some good traits. Two morale for being a brave soldier. That's excellent. Trenchman. Trencherman. A little fat on a man's bones is an attractive feature for the ladies. Dad bods back in 1707. Let's go. Plus one command for a confident general. Nice. Very nice. Um, right. Is there anything else we want to do? Um, I mean, if we can afford to recruit some more navy, but we can't afford to. Uh, nothing really over here. Two more turns anyway before that goes. How are we looking for villages? Villages are not growing. How do we get them to grow? Um, are you moved? Yeah, you are. Right, we'll quick save before the end turn and we'll press the end turn just to make sure it doesn't freaking crash again. <laughs> I think if it, if it gives us one... VDM thing, it's fine. It's more than one that it struggles with. We should probably also open all the rest of the messages first. That might also be something causing conflicts. Oh! Um, yes. Thank you for doing this, you stupid fools. Uh, I don't get why you've done this, but okay. 
And why is it's only that army of 23? I guess it's when we attack they can reinforce, but when when yeah. Hmm. I don't know. That's weird, but oh well. I don't know why they attacked us. Why is the auto resolve in Empire of Napoleon so fucked, bro? Like it's just so fucked. Completely fucked. Like, when you're playing Napoleon Online Battles, like, sometimes it goes, like, sometimes it just says stupid, like, stupid, stupid stuff. Like, you'll be winning, and it goes, the balance of power has gone, or your defeat is almost certain, and the balance of power will be, like, like this, basically. And that's it. <laughs> um, I like this spot. This is a decent spot. Decent spot already, yeah. Of course, we're just going to let them come to us. No point extending ourselves, is there? Um, get some canister shots off. It's a bit of a better position, but it's not great still. Oh well. Let's get some grenadiers. The grenadiers can't do the things. That's annoying, isn't it? But we'll put them behind here. We'll put them on grenades as well. So if anyone attacks them, <laughs> they're going to get grenaded the hell out of, bro. The foot guards and that can come here. Get some defenses. Group you guys. We shouldn't really need much more than four and four, really, should we? We'll go three down here. Can you see? Just about. Not. It's going to be tough. Auckland Regiment, you come up here. Guys in a group as well. Bulkley's Regiment. <coughs> get two Bulkley's. We'll just get one Bulkley's Regiment out there. We don't really need any more. Then I would like you guys to do that. You guys off fire at will for a second. Uh, right, what infantry do we have left? Got the drummers. Drummers, get here. Where's our blue guards? There. And there. So you should be inspiring nearby troops. So we should probably put you guys over here. You guys and you guys can just chill at the back. We don't really need you. Uh, we've just got three units of cavalry, haven't we? They've got a lot of cavalry, so we need to be wary of that. I've turned you guys off firing because it's actually incredibly annoying. Oh, you guys as well. So we do have four units of cavalry. Let's just spread them out across the lines to, to co combat any of their cavalry. Because very likely they will just charge in and attack us. Alright, you guys bring you back as well. And then you can start firing if you want. Oh, hello. There's an army behind us. Well then. Time for the horse guards to deal with them. Regiment Guard Dragoons. Let's go, boys. Not even going to get any shots off, are they? No. Well done, boys. You've done a decent job. Killed them all. Are you firing yet? fire here that's actually a better shot demi cannons are pretty trash but you know they're okay they're okay like they're not they are trash but in terms of cannons go but all cannons are pretty decent in this just getting the accuracy up like 45 accuracy is just poor like you could see the others were like 60 odd weren't they so 45 is just awful really bad okay that's some good shooting They charge directly at the cannons, that would be nice. I'm not gonna lie. Look at the army, set up nicely. Don't want you guys to fire, or you guys. Shoot them. <laughs> They're probably gonna charge, aren't they?
got to make sure we don't charge our cavalry over that as well. Because that will kill us. Get you guys even closer, really, would be a good option. Oh! What a nice shot. They've got some invalids again. Goddamn invalids. The poor guys, they look so, so upset. Look at them. Oh. Armed citizens. Look at those fancy pants. Jesus. Some more cuirassier. Shoot the guard squadron. They are very strong. Done some damage. Right, shoot the armed citizens then. Oh, that's a tough, tough shot, I'm not going to lie. Same here. Like, we're probably not going to get many kills with the infantry right now. Cannons, on the other hand. Yeah, it's really not doing much damage, even though there are guards over there. They just can't hit the Not a very good positioning by me, to be honest. That was rubbish shot. Absolute trash, my friends. Come on, you've got a lovely shot here. I hope you do well. Uh, maybe fire here. Oof, they came very close to getting destroyed then. Horse thieves. I've not seen these guys before. Cabalistas. Cabalistas. Nice. Looking cool. Kill the invalids. Kill the poor invalids. Make them more invalided. That's a word. Oh, is that their own? What was that? Was that the grenadiers? Well, it definitely scared them off. <laughs> Kill those armed citizens. Lovely. What a fantastic battle. It's just beautiful, these battles, aren't they? They are lovely. Kill those pistol caressiers. Oh, this is close. They keep coming back and running away. I'm going to kill as many of the cavalry as possible, really. Come on. Oof, good shot. Let's go. Can probably do the rest of this with the cavalry, so shall do that in a second. Let's just get some more shots off though. God, these guys have ruined, aren't they? How do the blue guards do? They lost a few troops. Three, <laughs> to be exact. Shoot the invalids again. Poor guys. Uh, right then. Let's uh, stop this fucking around. And uh, kill them. Let's go. Let's go. Gotta be wary because we will get shot ourselves a little bit. Probably tell these guys to stop firing. Especially the cannons. Uh, you guys actually go after the invalids. You guys come down here. Kill these armed citizens. Let's go. Now I'm pretty sure the, the invalids... Invalid means that they are old. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I... <laughs> it doesn't mean they're an invalid, so I am just joking about that. But yes, I think it's like an old regiment, like old people. Come on, guys, let's go. Uh, we need to send like one of you guys to go and kill the rest of these guys as well. So let's go. Are you just? Why did you just stop? Like. Pursuing them. I know they've only got one left, but it's fine. 
Grenadiers lost one troop. I don't know how. Must have been a stray bullet. Well done, guys. Get on your glory presage position. Of course. Fantastic. Close victory. <coughs> I don't know how it was close, but okay. Lost 184. Surprising, actually. Oh, my God. How did you get down to 65? Wow. The one that got to 65... 65... Lost 100. Kill 98. Ooh, you just must have been in the fire a lot. Where's the kills, though? 193 for the Demi Cannons. They basically did everything. That Bulkley Regiment down to 65 did a good job, though. 100. Hey, surely that's ours now. Surprised that's not ours. What's going on there? There wasn't that many that survived. It was just cavalry. But... Ah, we'll still have to attack them, though. Maybe we can demand surrender next turn again. But can you only do it once in a siege? I think it's only once in a siege, isn't it? So, hmm. Oh, well. The Great Ottomans. The Great Ottomans end turn time. Fantastic. Love it. Oh, there we're past them. Good. Good, good. Look at the amount of trade ships we've got. Flowing everywhere. For our global empire. None really from India too much apart from Ceylon. So we really need to get a trading port out so that we can make a bit more money from Mysore. Because at the minute, the trade isn't flowing from Mysore. We can check that though. Um, we should probably check that to see whether it is from the non-port sort of village. But it says villages aren't growing, and I don't know why. Maybe because it's not nationalized? I don't know. End turn, end, please. Ah, there we are. Yes. Intellectual advance. Fantastic. Workers on strike. My sword. Yep. We knew that. Let's bring them back. Oh, we don't have much money now left now. Let's get these guys retrained anyway. Again, Dutch Guyana. The advantage is lost. We are no longer the richest. The building constructed. Fantastic. Uh, what research are you doing now? Physiocracy. Cool. Only three turns, though. Do we need a military technology more right now? I don't think we do. Let's just quick save before we open these. Nice. Spain, we need to get nationalized. Right, this is the second one of the turn. Ah, it is. It's because it's the second one. It's crashing. Oh, well. Well, guys, we are back after the crash anyway. Let's see whether they'll take a surrender. No, they, we can't. We've only got one more turn to go. How are we doing with our research? We did want to go for physiocracy. What does it do, though? Minus one, plus two, town wealth, plus two percent wealth generated by farms. We can get the large, oh, we can get the large plantations after this, which should bring in a lot more money. Why has our money situation gone down so badly? How are we looking at trade? Russia is blocked, Ottoman Empire is blocked. What buy though? It says, it says red, red from here. Um, must be someone blocking it down here then. Oh, yeah. Wait, no, that's the Ottomans, so they should not be blocking it. And Russia, it's because it's coming through here, isn't it? Just getting blocked off by the enemies. Oh, well, let's go check on the trade in Mysore. Um... Total region, town wealth, tea export. So it says they are exporting tea. Hmm. See, these these indicators really need a kind of something up there so we can see what they are. Something over them. Some part of the UI. Can't recruit anyway. Um, 
Get all these guys retrained. Very nice. And then we shall march on Goa and take Goa so we get a nice trade port. Yeah, trade from India is just tea. So there is tea coming out of here. I don't know how it's, you know, getting exported because it doesn't look like there's a trade route here. Maybe through the Mughals because we've got a trade deal with them. Um, East Indies, lots of spices. America, lots of sugar. Just sugar. Sugar's doing very well. Look at that. Slaves. Oh, God. Why would you add this into the game? I know it's historically accurate, but it's horrible. <laughs> um, total income from exports, 14,000. Pretty decent. All said and told. Well, anyway, guys, that should be it for this episode. I'm sorry about the crashes, but... I think that's probably going to be a recurring theme throughout the rest of the uh, the, the, the Let's Play, really. Um, so we just know if there's going to be two of those messages at the start of, an, start of a new turn, that it's going to crash, and I'll just reload in the game, and you guys won't see it. It'll just be a, a seamless transition, should I say. Uh, but thank you very much for watching, guys. Please do like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you again on the next video.